All right, the Taurus G2C versus the Taurus 605. And today what I wanna do is just basically run these, these handguns side to side and see how they compare. So basically what I have is full metal jacket ammunition, have some Winchester forged 115 grain steel cased ammunition. And then for the 38 special, those are my hand loads, 158 grain over 4.1 grains of tight group. A nice little, um, nice little load for target practice and that's kind of the advantage of something like a 605 it's 357 magnum but you can go down to 38 special for just some light target practice and really i don't see a big issue with that some people might say well you should never shoot anything that doesn't kind of copy your your carry ammo recoil impulse but to me i think it's just fine to do so i'm actually going to go through the chronograph and see what kind of velocity i'm getting with these rounds um, they're just target ammunition. I just want to see what these barrel lengths will do with 38 Special Plus P versus 9 millimeter. See how they compare. So let's get started with shooting these these uh, handguns and just see how they compare. All right, I'm just from five yards from the target. I just want to see what kind of velocity we're getting with these rounds. So here's the 9 millimeter. We'll see what we get uh, from five yards with this particular ammo. 1065. 1023, 1053, 1031, 1042, so pretty respectable velocity. Now my .38 Special hand loads are a lot um, heavier bullets and they're going to have a lot less energy. Let's see what they actually have. Alright, here's my .38 Special hand loads. 766. 772, 781, 750, 765, a lot higher point of impact from 5 yards. Now let's just go back from 7 yards and just see how these, these handguns compare for accuracy at 7 yards. Alright, I'm at 7 yards. I'm just going to fire pretty slow just to see what I can do. And remember these targets are, are half scale, so even though I'm at 7 yards, it's about what it would look like at 14 yards so just keep that in mind um, so we'll see what what i can do here Too great not too bad either let's see how the 38 special compares all right 38 special we'll see what I can do at double action here all right a lot better group that's something to be said about a fixed barreled handgun um, pretty easy to group well and the other thing is if you're off it's you it's not the handgun. Sometimes in semi-automatics, uh, might be the handgun. So what I want to do now is just fire a little bit faster because that kind of makes a big difference here. When you fire faster, self-defense type, type stuff, sometimes it's a little more difficult to land on paper with the revolver than the semi-automatic, even though it often groups tighter. So we'll see how that does. All right, since the revolver is five, five shots, I'll do five shots with the auto. Just kind of a quick front sight picture, see what I can do. And I'm not sure if I'll hit them all on paper. It doesn't look too bad though. All right, revolver time. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because sometimes shooting these things fast is actually pretty difficult to do. So I'll fire as fast as I think I can. I'm not gonna um, fire as fast as I can and miss. As fast as I think I can and still land shot. So here I go. And they're high for me. I have one miss, it looks like, or two misses. Uh, so, nature of the game there. 
So with a revolver, you definitely do need to take a little bit more time. But if you do take that more time, oftentimes it's more accurate. So that's just a trade-off. Now let's go on to reloading time to see the difference between reloads. That's one of the most difficult things to do with a revolver. Very easy to do with semi-automatic. So we'll see how they compare in reloading. Right, I'm just going to do five rounds and then I'm going to drop the mag. And one of the advantages of a semi-automatic is it's easy to use your non-dominant hand, like my left hand, to grab and use a spare magazine. Very difficult to do that with a revolver. So that's definitely an advantage for reloading with the semi-automatic. So I'm just going to fire five rounds, drop the mag, and, and uh, insert the other mag five more rounds. So see what I can do. Pretty quick reload on that. And I'll see how the revolver compares. All right, with the revolver, I typically keep my um, reload here on the strong side because you're going to want to use your dominant hand for a reload usually, unless you're really skilled, which I'm not. But I'll see how quick I can reload with this revolver. Those shots are definitely high because these particular um, hand loads shoot a little bit high because they're heavy. But a little bit of fumbling there. It's not terribly, terribly slow, but it's definitely slower than the automatic. Now I want to shoot at long range and just see how they compare at long range. That might be interesting to see what we can get at a little bit longer range. Got my steel tank out there. It's 50 yards from right behind me. Let's see what I can get. All right. We are at 50 yards. I'm going to do five rounds and the magazine and the gun, switch out the mags, do another five rounds. And I'm not gonna fire as fast, but just as long as I think I need to land these shots um, with this handgun. So let's see what I can do at 50 yards. That tank's about 12 inches wide. Not really sure where I'm hitting. Hitting really high. All right, now I know where to, to hold, so um, I'm gonna do another one. That wasn't quite a fair shot for the nine millimeter. I will aim lower. It's about a point of aim about a foot below the tank. So we'll see how I do if I aim differently. All right, try it one more time with this nine millimeter. any better even though I knew where to aim um, and the trigger was kind of getting gritty on me where it normally it comes back and you hit the wall and it goes off but what it was doing it's coming back only about that far and it's stopping and then going past and clicking more before it gets to the wall so maybe just something stuck because it's a new pistol um, I don't know but try the revolver and see how that does all right, from 50 yards, I'll go double action just to kind of see if I can hit it double action. If not, that's the advantage of the revolver, the hammer, the spur, go single action. So I'm gonna aim a little bit low with these rounds as well.
I dropped a few of them. A little bit uh, low. I'd say overall, I'm liking the way this revolver is shooting for me with these 38 specials. I've noticed when we go to heavy for caliber, like 158 grain, I'm shooting pretty slow. Um, it's really easy to dial in that accuracy at long range. That's when we shoot something really fast, sometimes not so easy. Uh, I'll try one more with the 9mm, one more with the 38 special, but with single action, see if that makes a difference. All right, 9mm, one more try. See if I can hit it. hits that time. See if I can do that with the 38 special and single action. All right, back to the revolver. See how this does in single action. I'd say they're pretty much even overall at long range. So the 605 versus the G2C, I think they're pretty well evenly matched. Um, G2C had a little bit sticky trigger. It's brand new, so it might be because of that. I've had this for almost a year, so this has smoothed out real nice for me. But when I did have it brand new, it shot just about as, as well. Um, so it's kind of hard to say. This gun has a capability of being more accurate than that G2C, but the G2C has a, a practical accuracy that's a little bit better than the revolver. Plus you have a lot more rounds. So between the G2C and the 605, I guess it just depends on your preference of which one's better. Um, they're pretty close in price point. I think I paid about 305 for this about a year ago. G2C I paid 237 a week ago. So pretty even overall, pretty affordable handguns. If I had to personally pick one between the two of these, obviously I picked the revolver. It's been very reliable for me. I haven't had a single issue with it whatsoever. Um, but to some people, they want a little bit higher capacity so I can understand the G2C for them. So that's what you get today between the G2C and the Taurus 605. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.